Welcome to summertime in Animal Crossing New Horizons. There's all sorts of new updates to check out as the sun shines down on my island paradise. Have a safe and sunscreen filled summer. So it's definitely Sunday, August 2nd and not August 3rd where there's been a new update for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, there's two things a part of the update. One of them is a fireworks show that happens every Sunday between certain dates in August, which not during 4th of July, but all right, whatever. I'm going to check the mail and show you uh, what that is all like. Nook shopping? Uh, cool. There's new seasonal items. Okay. I don't know what those are, but sure. There's a, a B ranking for Happy Home Academy. And the Bank of Nook, thank you for the bells. Awesome, cool. So my name is Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien, hello. So this is a part of the newest update for Animal Crossing New Horizons is the fireworks over here. So this is a whole thing to dive into and I will in just a hot second, but I'm gonna go into the shop and see what new seasonal items are there and check out whatever else is uh, chilling around here. There's another thing called the uh, the dream address, which I will be addressing, get it, in the next video, and it's going to conclude Season 2 of Animal Crossing New Horizons, because that's uh, a lot of the things that I've wanted to do for this game until a spooky season happens, which I'm very, very excited for that already, and it's only August uh, 2nd. It's definitely not August 3rd. I also think that my controller is drifting, so if I have my controller like this... Is it going to happen? No? Okay. There might be a piece of dirt stuck under here or something, but I, I automatically, like, face to the left. Like, if I... Okay, so if I'm walking like this, if I'm walking, like, down, and then it's not going to do it. Okay, cool. But I inadvertently face to the left. So, okay. When you're on a Sunday, whenever, during when the fireworks are happening, I believe it's like... Uh, I forget the dates. I should probably look up the dates and show you exactly what it is. But, um... Yeah, so they start at 7 p.m., and what's really cool is that it's not just a typical fireworks show. You can collect ideas for the fireworks show, which means you can upload your own patterns for the fireworks show. Um, how can I be of assistance? I got a firework idea. I, I have this very, very cool idea, uh, and you can share your designs in here. So, ooh, it's getting all dark in here. Ooh, it got magically very like that. So there's a big giant window over here. So then when it gets overcast, it it just goes right over the whole office. So it went from being super bright to not. And it's gonna go back to being bright again. So look at that. It literally just changed in like a moment's notice. All right, cool. So I have all these ideas here that I can use for fireworks, including my own designs. So um, not gonna be using these. They're not gonna work as effectively. But I'll go with this. Uh, we'll go with this, obviously. And I actually found these not from me uh, making them. These are actually ones that were custom made. But I will show you where I actually found them. I'll go with um, this right here. I'll go with this. Because I have not used a lot of the patterns, unfortunately. Not as much as I've wanted to. And I'll go for Pipple for a second time. So those are all the ideas. You can use whatever patterns you want to, whether you made them or not. And put them in your fireworks show. Now, I found these by going over to um, the Able Sister shop. So, you can go into the terminal now where you would upload your own custom uh, designs here. And you can find uh, new patterns. And you can use them for your fireworks show. So, let's see. The fireworks season on your island, meaning you can take the opportunity to step every Sunday. Um, it looks like every Sunday during the month in August. Okay. So it doesn't matter whether you're in the North or Southern Hemisphere. It's going to be the same for you. So every Sunday in August. Okay. So you can search by creator ID. You can search by design ID or criteria search. You go to the Able Sisters shop and you go over to the touch screen over there. So my ID is down below. I only have the Bricks O'Brien, like the, the sweater. So I don't have any other designs. So if you want to do that, you can. But what I did is I went over by... Um, design name and I can actually just type in literally whatever thing whatever I want to so if I type in uh, Mario 
I'm going to get a variety of uh, designs that are based on Mario. Type, and you can do a specific type if you want to, but I'm going to go by uh, unspecified. And these are just designs people have uploaded here. Now you can just grab one of these and input them for either your own designs that you want to use in your town, or what I did is for the fireworks. So if I wanted to grab, like this one right here, this is by Melanie. All right, I'm going to grab that, and it'll ask you to go for a specific slot here. I'll go for that slot right there. And let's say I wanted to back out of here, and then the next thing I wanted to search for was Bowser. So anything involving the, the name of the design will pop up. So if you're looking for, like, Bowser's Castle, you're going to have to type in the exact same thing, or just go with Bowser if you wanted to. So I really like this one right here. That looks most... Uh, you know, like the Bowser icon in all the Mario games from Gasper. So that's pretty cool. And I can use these designs to swap out with uh, what I had had before. So that's pretty cool. And I'm looking at all the Super Mario sets over here. And I'm going to try to look for uh, one more. I've seen some people use the icons from their Nintendo Switch. So, like, up here, you can change your icon. Like, user settings over here. So... I've seen people use, like, Meta Knight and Yoshi and all these icons here. I don't know how they get them, but I don't have any of them like that. It's just kind of whatever. So I'm going to go with uh, Yoshi and see what pops up over here. And then, yeah, the fireworks will go off, and it'll show all of them in the sky. It's really cool. Um, we'll go with the standard Yoshi's, uh, Yoshi's Island sprite there from Melly in Hyrule. That's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, you can just input them, and you can use them wherever you want to as well, but it works really, really well for, um, for the fireworks. So, and I'm going to search for a Pokemon, because why not, right? Uh, let's go for uh, Arceus, because that is the, the god Pokemon of them all. Let's see if anything pops up for Arceus here. There are, yep, the sprites for Arceus, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this one might be cool to have for the fireworks because of the background here from Alexa in Sinnoh. I like it. Sinnoh based on, obviously, the region that, uh, you know, Ar Arceus, Arceus is from. And so I want to show you one more here. I'm going to go with Wario because not only can you look at actual designs, like as a, a one singular tile you can put on the ground or put it in the fireworks and whatnot, but you can also get pro designs. So that is a Wario pro design right there. For the uh, overalls, there's a hat here as well. So I could grab one of these. That's a biker outfit. Uh, and use it if I wanted to. So you can grab those. And it wouldn't work really as effectively for fireworks, but it would work for an outfit if you really wanted to. So there's that whole thing there. You can swap them out as many times as you want to for whatever you want to. And then there's the, the, the other aspect to the fireworks stuff, which are the items that you get. For the fireworks shows so it works differently than anything else in Animal Crossing before where you go up to red over here I'm not open yet oh why it's my favorite guy it's my favorite cousin huh? I just got the chit chat there it's a limited time and limited liability business I'll be hosting so you have to act fast exclusively during the fireworks shows be offering you the chance to call it big reds raffle so you gotta wait until seven o'clock it is six minutes away cool so I'll go do some miscellaneous things before making that happen. So I'm going to swap this one out uh, with, let's say, this one right here. We'll swap this one out for this one. And that one, we'll swap for that. And this one, we'll swap for that one. So now it's all uh, unique designs here. So they should go one after another there. So that's pretty cool. Firework show starts in a few minutes here. Um... And I've been basically preparing my town for the dream address, which will be in the next episode. So um, I'll explain in detail what that's all about here. But I'll give you a short tour in terms of what the town looks like in its current state and how it will look basically until uh, Halloween. And hey, what's going on, Pudge? Been a while since I've talked to you. I, two months. It's been two months since I've talked to Pudge. Ouch. Well, I'm sorry, man. How's... uh? How's life? How's the family? It's almost firework time. Yep, it's cool. Awesome. So, uh, in terms of an update as well, uh, Melba did end up moving out. And I believe there is another koala that has taken uh, her place. So, I, I wanted to go for, uh, you know, all 
yellow and blue villagers if they happen to be coincidentally appearing on the island, but I wasn't going to force it or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, not happening anytime soon. Keaton is still chilling. Keaton, what's going on, homie? It's so it's the famous Brixo has finally decided to grace me with an appearance. So, yeah, that's his nickname he has for me there because obviously my name is actually Brian. Uh, you want to chat? Of course you do. That's because I'm wearing the colorful striped sweater previously owned by you. Yeah, it looks pretty good, man. Looks pretty sweet. So a lot of the things around here are the same. Um, I ended up getting... Oh, this is the new area, a uh, new house over here. It's a different color. Um, I ended up getting another one of the the star items or star DIYs. It was for the, the Leo, I think. It was just like a, a mounted head. It's kind of weird. I didn't really like it all that much. But, yeah, I had to pick a ton of the weeds. I had to clear out a lot of these areas here. But I haven't caught in a lot of the fish. I haven't done a lot of other things in Animal Crossing. Uh, I'm really waiting for them to add new sorts of buildings. I really hope they add new buildings at some point. The rumor is that they're going to add gyroids as well as a coffee shop. So Brewster will make a return eventually. People have somehow figured out, you know what's going to be coming to the na the game next apparently and that might be one of the things so hopefully by fall time to enjoy alongside your pumpkin spice latte will be brewster chilling out and i can choose where to place the building that'd be pretty cool uh, this is larry's house over here looking pretty good larry's got a nice little setup man looks pretty sweet can i go in here i forget i can cool so yeah larry's house i'm not upgrading anymore this is it this is done this is as it is right here. And, uh, yeah, it's a log cabin. It looks pretty, you know, plain. But that's how log cabins look sometimes. And there's not really, like, a lot of a lot else going on, you know? Like, you're going to have these really old chairs. You have the log table. There's, like, boxes from things that you have that you just never got rid of. I don't know. Like, there's stuff everywhere. So, oh, yeah, I shaved my head, by the way. I went through another quarter-life crisis, and I shaved off all my hair at, like, midnight. So, yeah, that happened. Uh, the flower patch over here, looking pretty good. I'm just basically, you know, not even watering these. I'm just letting them go until there's an entire patch of blue, yellow. Maybe I'll do a pattern at some point eventually, but I'm just letting them kind of grow. Whatever happens, happens. Same thing over here. I was going for gold roses, but I don't really care about gold roses. I have one, which is fine, you know. Uh, I have black roses, which is good. Um, maybe I could get one blue rose eventually, but I don't really care otherwise. Uh, lots of flowers all littered through here. Uh, this whole area with the uh, the patch of, you know, fruit all looks the same. It's been the same for a while. This stage doesn't look any different. I added a jungle gym, which is pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, I mean... I would love to put the Brewster coffee shop like right here or maybe over toward this side right here. That'd be a, a cool spot for it as well. But, you know, it's just kind of is what it is right now. So it looks like the fireworks show is going to start momentarily. So I will go over toward the top right of the entire area and show you what the fireworks look like as I go through the remaining little bits over here. It's going to be uh, pretty cool. And I did not happen to see any fireworks myself this year because I didn't end up going out anywhere to, to see any of that. So, yeah. Um, this should be as good a spot as any. It's uh, one minute away. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's actually going into a little cutscene. Cool. Nice. It's time to start looking up all the fireworks show has just begun. Yeah. Cool. Dum, dum, dum. So if you have your game open... While something like this happens, you'll see the fireworks. And then, bam, you'll see a combination of, you know, regular fireworks, as you can see there. Um, can I not look up? Really? Okay, cool. There we go. Awesome. So, you see a combination of real, uh, like, big fireworks over here that are just multicolored and whatnot. And then, eventually, your patterns will appear as well. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, that was not a pattern one right there. It looks like they're shooting off the shore of wherever that area is over there so they're not on your island technically they're just lurking all about so that's pretty cool see is there anything over there no oh you know why because my controller is drifting am i i think it might be drifting a little bit 
Yeah, it might be just a smidge. So there's that. Uh, doesn't look like there's any patterns as of right now. But let me go check with Isabel to see here. Uh, that's like your best spot to look for. All the fireworks is over toward that way. Um, like toward the upper portion there. And it does illuminate your entire island. It looks very, very beautiful. And it's a very cool way to kind of end off the season. You know, the, the summer season. Which it's not technically over yet by any means at all. But, uh, yep. You have a little something for everyone as a part of today's event. Ah, yes. So she gives you a uh, bulb popper. So that's pretty cool. I'll equip that here. Or rather, you know, bulb popper. That's a... Okay, cool. So they're like green. Like green little antenna alien looking things. Like boinging all around. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if there are any patterns up here. No, not quite. All right. Well, let me check with her. Let me see what's going on here. I got a firework idea. Did it overwrite them, or is it still there? Nope, they're still there. All right, cool. So, I don't know. Um, you'll get them prepared for lunch tonight. All right, well, let's take a look. And Hey, what do you want, Dobby? What's going on? You like to get yourself a, a sparkler? Because I just happen to have one here for you. Oh, thank you. Sparklers are cool. It's also part of the update here. So, that's pretty awesome. Um, I'm not seeing any patterns yet. There should be. Oh, and Dobby's using the sparkler. That's pretty cool, too. So this should go on for like an hour or two. And man, it's getting really cloudy in here. Or cloudy outside, I should say. There we go. All right, so there's that. Um, or is it just going to be regular fireworks for a while? Might just be regular fireworks for a while. I don't know. All right, well, let me check in with red. They should be appearing. But hey, that's fine. Yeah. You're two steps away from red's raffle. Oh, I just walk up to the raffle here. Okay. Step right up to Red's Raffle. It's only 500 bells a ticket. I'm in. Cool. So you buy uh, raffle tickets here, and there are a wide variety of items you can get. You can get number five. That's a Uchi Uchiwa fan. So that's cool. There are many more items for you to get, and they are randomly drawn out there, and it's only 500 bells. So if you have a bunch of money, you can get pretty much all of them. So it's just a matter of you uh, making that happen. So, keep pressing your luck, see what's going on, and uh, take it from there. That's number three. It's a fountain firework. Oh, that's cool. All right. So, there's all sorts of fireworks and additional items there. There are balloons as well that you can see right here. First time balloons are kind of appearing, so that's pretty cool. That's a, like a yellow balloon right there. So, ideally, I can get yellow and blue balloons as well and decorate them throughout the island, but we'll see how that goes there's like all the standard colors that you can think of there's a green balloon so yeah as long as you are willing to keep going then yeah you're fine but i'll show you what these are all about here before i continue to buy more of those and show you what those are all about so let me look up here again is there anything no okay they're just chilling all right so that's the outdoor hat the blue sparkler i'm gonna hold that if i use it right here you can use it in like a figure eight fashion right here Obviously, with uh, sparklers, they can be uh, dangerous. Do not mess with the power of sparklers here. They do only last a certain amount of time. So keep that in mind, too. There they go. Uh, let's see what the other ones are. This is the Uchiwa fan. And you can basically, you know, fan yourself down if you really wanted to during those blazingly hot summer nights. You know how it goes. All right. Taking a look at the fireworks here. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. All right, now the tweeter here is like those things you, you see at birthday parties. Oh, that was a custom one. Oh, there they are. There's the custom ones. Look at that. Nice. So you can see the Pikachu, the Mario. That was a Bricks O. There's Piplup right there. Wow, looks pretty cool, right? That looks pretty sweet, man. All right, there's Lego. Hey, there you go. So you can have that be activated there. There's Kirby. It looks really cool. That, that's never been a function in Animal Crossing before that you can get all sorts of firework shapes like that. And obviously you can put whatever you want there. Uh, but like the Bowser looks really cool. What would look really good is if you had no transparency or if you had transparency for the background. So if it was just Bowser's face in white, it would look a lot better than Bowser's white face with the black background. And it looks like they all go one after another in one section. So you kind of have to wait to see all of them at once and then they go back to the regular ones there so if you have some pretty good 
uh, patterns there. You could get some really nice look like that. Oh, looks awesome. That looks fantastic. So there's the Mario as well. So like if Mario just had the Mario and not the white background, the Pikachu looks pretty good because it's a black background. Um, Piplup looks really good because it takes up the full area too. The Lego one looks good as well. So yeah, it's really, really cool. And provided you can change, you can change them as many times as you want to. I believe these go on for a couple hours. So just experiment with it that way. It's pretty sweet, man. It's pretty cool. I'll check out the fountain firework here. What What is that? Or let me put this away first. Fountain firework. What does this do? Um, I don't know. Uh, well, I'll put down the... Um, I'll hold the yellow balloon here so you can see the yellow balloon. Follows you around wherever you go. That's pretty sweet. Now, if you end up running with the balloon, a new mechanic that is actually in the game is called tripping, which has happened in Super Smash Bros. Brawl as well as Animal Crossing previously. But if you run with the balloon, there's a possibility that you can trip. And if you trip, the balloon will just pop up into the air and you won't be able to get it back. So don't run with a balloon in Animal Crossing nor in real life because you'll trip and then it'll go into the air and then it'll pop and then litter somewhere in the world. And that's not good. Did it go away? Oh, it looked like it went away. It looked, what? And then it, just, it looks like it went up into the air. So if I place the item down here, there's a little weight that's added to the bottom of it, and it acts like an item. So if you wanted to make a really cool birthday party scene, you could totally do that. Or just walk around with it, you know, have your signature yellow or blue balloon or whatever. I know there's all sorts of bugs hidden everywhere, but yeah. Um, what do I do with this? The fountain firework? Just drop it? I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. All right, whatever. Um, I'll keep going back up to the raffle. I'm going to do like, you know, four more just to see what I get. And hopefully it's a variety of more items. You can get more uh, types of things there. The, the, the bobber things, whatever you want to call them. There's like blue and red and yellow and all that. And I believe you get them from Isabel on different nights. Maybe. You can also get the star ones that she has. So that's a pretty... Good variety there. Number one, just like that, you won yourself a red sparkler. Cool. So the sparklers are disposable there. Uh, why don't you pull another? Only 500 bells. It's pretty um, not rigged, actually. You know, you, you'll get repeats and doubles and whatnot, but, you know, he's not, uh, he's not scamming you, it seems like. There's a pinwheel there. That's cool. I'll go for two more, I guess. And this one is number nine a red balloon 99 no red balloons there we go all right i'll go for one more here and see what the luck shall give me we haven't really gotten any repeats yet so that's good it's a number four the bubble blower okay cool and the bubble blower i have not gotten before so nice uh they do not change items as you go week to week so you're gonna get the same items kind of no matter what but that's fine uh, the red sparkler, I kind of showed that before with the sparkler. The pinwheel here, you can blow on the pinwheel and make it spin. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a red balloon, if you couldn't figure that one out. There's a bubble blower here. And blow some bubbles. Yeah, blow some bubbles. Looking real nice with those bubbles. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to go with the balloon back there, because I have not actually learned the recipe for the golden slingshot. I had my friend Natalina gift me this a while ago. And it hasn't popped yet, or it hasn't broken, rather. So I can still hunt down all the balloons and hopefully get something good eventually here. Nope, didn't want to do that. Let's go with this. Wait. There we go. Awesome. I haven't gotten a balloon in 7,000 years. What's inside of here? 10,000 bells. Hey, not bad. All right, cool. So nothing really too new there, obviously. No stranger to money around here. There's a red sparkler. Not really red. It's more white and yellow under this light looks very weird but you can see the sparkler little tip of it burning off too and then it falls onto the ground it, it has a certain durability which is cool you know drat oh that itches i got a bite bit by a mosquito oh mosquito bites are absolutely the worst Ugh. jeez. all right so i still don't know what the fountain firework does let me look up how to use it all right so apparently you drop it down here, and it's actually a thing that you light right here. So this is like an item, kind of. Uh, you can light it with A. You obviously don't want to be anywhere near it, and then don't have any people near it. And then, whoo, it just lights up all like that. 
cool. Nice, you guys, all different colors and whatnot. It's like a whole bunch of fireworks there, nice. And that turns into a used fountain firework, which is technically garbage. So what you do is you throw your garbage away. All of these are actually very unfamiliar to me. Uh, they do not sell sparklers or fountain fireworks or anything like that, even remotely in Massachusetts. All of that stuff is illegal. So uh, sometimes people go from New Hampshire and grab them from there and bring them back here, which I have never done because I don't know how to use fireworks and I'm not to, about to blow my thumb off. So I don't do that. Um, Isabel, you got anything else for me here? Um, I'd like to chat. I just want to say hi. I can tilt up. Okay, cool. So I guess she's not going to give me any more, you know, head dingling things there, but okay. But that, for the most part, is a fireworks update. You can keep buying tickets if you want to. Have all sorts of balloons and bubbles and everything else. It's a cool little celebration for once a month. If you're playing Animal Crossing in real time, you can have all sorts of cool little goodies to go along with a fireworks show right there. So uh, that's going to be it for the firework update. The next time I see you in Animal Crossing New Horizons, it's going to be all about the dreams, which is going to be interesting interessante i want to thank you for listening watching and tuning in and meowing it out with me as always one more episode until animal crossing season two is done then we get to the spooky stuff oh boy see you again next time bye